Hey, hey YouTube. All right, so today isn't actually gonna be a very long video. Yes, it's not even 12 o'clock yet, but today this wasn't a want, this was a need. It's one of those days. And I'm sure you all can relate sometimes to those days. Hang on. All right, so at the end of this video, I'm just gonna throw up a bunch of pictures showing how I got the grill, at least to this condition now. For the most part, um, I got the fins as straight as I could possibly get them, and they actually don't look bad at all. Um, I mean, these were really twisted. This whole thing was distorted, twisted, dented. Uh, the top side through here, all the, uh, the factory welds on the inside were broke loose. This was opened up, had dents all through the top. So for not being a body man, I pounded most of the dents out pretty good. So obviously it's going to take some body work um, to get everything nice and smooth because I'm not putting it on all dented. I'm gonna use a high fill primer to take care of all these pits. Uh, once I get all these pits filled in with the high fill, I'll sand it down and then I'll use red oxide so that way all my paint matches. I did have to go back behind. You'll see the pictures where I had to weld all these back in all the way up because a lot of them broke loose. They were moving. Once I re-straightened and re-weld it, it actually helped bring these back to where I wanted them. Uh, <coughs> this side over here was really, really bad. There's a steel ring underneath here welded in and trying to get this all pounded out straight with that steel ring was a, a serious um, chore. I got it pretty good. This right here was all the way in until about here. So this was dented really bad and this was all pushed in. Um, the hole right there with the front um, bolt in the washer go one, this whole thing was ripped out, ripped through originally and the bracket on the inside was bent up. So these are actually factory stamped where this is kind of like embossed around here. Um, I could have welded the washer in from the backside and then just try to repair this with weld and then body fill the whole thing. But every time, you know, you would take the grill, say either on or off, or if anything were to move around, I didn't want the washer and the bolt tightened up against body filler. I wanted it to have metal. So what I did was I welded the washer on from the backside. I put a socket behind this underneath with a couple extensions down to the table. So that way it supported this. Then I took a body hammer and I hit the washer and I kind of sunk the washer back down in the sheet metal. So as you see from this angle here, see how it's kind of flush right there? So now when I body fill it, I can actually body fill up and around this whole area where all these dents are that I can't get out because of that metal ring inside there. Um, I can now sand around it and once I sand across the surface, it'll be metal. So it's not gonna be uh, Bondo I'm bolting up against. But this whole thing was really bad shape. It was um, really dented bad. All this was broke loose through here, the factory welds again. Um, it was it was poor. And then this side here, same thing. You can see where you know the heat penetrated, but um, this was, was really bad. So she's looking pretty good now. It's gonna look really good once it's all um, uh, body filled and all the high fill is all done and all this is all, you know, the pits are gone and it's gonna look, it'll look really good. So check out the end of the video. You'll see all the pictures I put up so far to get to the worst stage that I am right now. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and do the filler on it. So at the end of the video, I'll show, you know, how it looks with the filler on at the end. Um, obviously, all the filler work that I do through here, I gotta keep it kind of from this point down because I don't want to fill in this line. So that's really about it for today. So I told you I was gonna make a short video and I made a short video. <laughs> so make sure you hit that notification bell you'll see the progress on the grill. And then um, once you see the grill done, I'm getting a, a, another hood from Steiner. Um, Cause the hood is just, it's, it's been pretty bad. So I'm decided not to use it for this project. Um, but just make sure you hit the notification bell if you wanna see this tractor all come together. Cause I'm thinking the unveiling of this, I got a really cool video in mind and it's gonna look really good when this thing comes rolling out for the first time. So you definitely wanna make sure that you uh, get notified when it comes out. But other than that, if you can like, subscribe, share me out. The more you share me out, the more I can keep doing projects like this. Um, I enjoy doing them. And like I said, I have some products I wanna start throwing out there. But, you know, I wanna see how the channel grows first before I start tossing them products out. So anything you guys could do to help, that'd be awesome. And I greatly appreciate it. I mean, come on, it helps bring all these old tractors back to life, right? And then besides that, I decided, yeah, once I hit a, um, the thousand mark, I'm gonna go ahead and do a nice giveaway. So I think there's a couple items that I have. Some of you guys actually might be interested in. Other than that, um, that's it for today. So 
thank you for watching and if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the, in the uh, comment section thanks and have a good day